G'day ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to this Innibuilds Airbus A350 startup tutorial. Obviously, the release of this plane has been massively hyped, so I'm sure there's probably people out there who want to be able to learn how to fly this plane, but not sit down in front of a YouTube video for three and a half hours or three weeks trying to learn the basics of just turning this bloody thing on. So my goal is to condense this into a short enough video that you get all the relevant and most important information without taking too much of your time. So let's jump into the cockpit. So here is the beautiful cockpit of the A350. What a bloody ripper. Have a look at this, man. More screens here than there are in a bloody, I was about to say a pedophile's basement, but that's probably not the right thing to say. So anyway, what you want to do once you spawn into the cockpit here is go up to your overhead panel and you want uh, your external power to, uh, to come on. So we're going to click available and available and it should click on just like so. Now you'll hear all these beeps and dongs and screens are going to start lighting up, which is a good sign. Doesn't sound very welcoming, but uh, I can assure you that's what you want to hear. So then once we uh, we have some power to the aircraft, we're going to go over and turn on our batteries. So click one, two, three, four. Uh, and then I just sort of come over to the top right, sorry, top left here to the ADIRS. And we'll go nav, nav, and nav. I believe that is your um, the IRS. So like sort of knows where you are in the world. And then we'll go down to crew supply, turn that on. And then I just go over to uh, emergency exit lights. I just turn that to arm. And that's all I do there for now. Now, before we get into setting up the plane for departure, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you guys already have your own flight plan, whether that's through SimBrief or whatever other program you might choose to use. I use SimBrief and my flight plan and all of my weights and fuel and stuff uh, will be included and you'll be able to see it on the screen. So once you have all that very critical information, we're, uh, we're actually going to go down to our EFB first. So this tablet here and we're going to start from the top down. So we'll do flight ops and literally, man, once it's hooked up to your SimBrief account, uh, which you can do very easily in your uh, in the options page of this EFB. You just go ahead and click SimBrief Import, and that's going to talk to SimBrief in the background, and you'll see it's got all of our information. So it's A350-1000, that's the aircraft rego, flight number 69, of course, and the call signs QTR or Qatar 69, and we're going from LFBO to VHHH. So once that's done, then we can keep working our way down the uh, the EFB and we find our way to the load sheet. So another very, very important uh, thing that you want to import from SimBrief. This is going to save a fair bit of time in, uh, in setting zero fuel weight, setting the fuel and stuff like that. So once you click SimBrief import, go ahead and click set zero fuel weight and click set fuel. And you can see up there, it's all done for us, which is bloody awesome. It's also given us our uh, zero fuel weight center of gravity, which is something that we will need eventually soon. So that's all good. The other thing that you might want to uh, just get familiar with is this takeoff performance page. Again, you can literally just sync sim brief it'll tell the uh the fb everything that you need to know what runway you're taking off from the uh the conditions outside and then if you click compute it's going to tell you your v speed so your takeoff speeds and all that stuff and then you can literally just click send to fms and uh, once I click that, that's going to go straight over to this screen here. This screen here is the brains of the plane. It tells the plane to do pretty much everything. You want to go to the top left and go to the init page. And then to save a lot of time and a lot of effort, we're going to go up to company flight plan request. Uh, wait for that. And now you see it says received company flight plan. Go ahead and click insert. And it's literally just filled out everything for us, which has saved us so much time. And it's so accurate because it comes straight from SimBrief. Now, once that is done, we can uh, go up to our fuel and load screen. Now, zero fuel weight, we uh, simply can come back over to our EFB. And we had that, if you remember, if we go onto our load sheet, zero fuel weight is 187423. So let's come back to our screen here and we'll type in the center, bottom of your screen, 187.4. And then uh, we'll go ahead and click enter. 
Now it's asking for the zero fuel waste center of gravity. I mentioned that before, which is 2978. So we'll come back down, click on that center of gravity. Two nine. You know, you'd probably just round that up to 29.8 and click enter. Block fuel. Now you can either click fuel planning and it should actually get this the amount of block fuel that you need. So our block fuel or fuel load here is 82130. And you can see block is actually in tons. That T there stands for tons. So we want to just convert that 82.1 tons, enter. And that's all good to go. Taxi, I wouldn't really worry about that. Passenger number, now we can go over to our flight plan and you can see that it says passenger count is 282. So whatever your flight plan is telling you to do, just input that. So PAX 282. And that's pretty much all done for our, uh, our fuel and load screen. Now, remember how before we told our V speeds to send to our FMS? Well, these yellow numbers here is essentially what it was sending. So V1 speed, rotate speed, V2 speed. So that performance page is now done. And then the next thing you want to do is work our way up to the flight plan page. Now, the flight plan should be all sorted and it should be all uh, filled out for us because we did just use SimBrief integration. But you can just step through it if you like and just double check to see if it uh, actually did work. So I'm just going to go ahead and just make sure that it's going to do the exact departure that uh, I wanted to do. And to do any departure or any arrival of an, air of an airport, it's very simple on these, uh, these aircraft. So all you want to do is click on the airport that you're taking off from, which is LFBO. Hit departure, and then we want to tell it which runway we want to take off from. Now, it's actually telling us to take off from 1-4 right, and the uh, the SID that we want to use today is the AMOL 7H, so it's this one, and that is what you want to by insert into your flight plan. Now, it is saying to check takeoff data. Now, that is because we've just changed the departure. What we want to do is just go back to performance, and just reconfirm these uh, these V speeds, which nothing's changed. The other important tab is the serve or surveillance, I believe that probably stands for. Now the serve tab will be the transponder. Now the transponder is obviously very, very important. Uh, you wanna go ahead and click this button here to go to auto. If you want, you can just go to default settings, click confirm, and it's just got everything that it should be at for you. Uh, so that's another screen that you might be wanting to get familiar with is your transponder. If you want to change your squawk code, obviously click on the squawk uh, box and just type in your squawk code, 6969, enter, and uh, you're ready to go. Oh, entry's out of range. <laughs> So it's not going to let me do that. But that is essentially everything done. Obviously, this was a very, very rushed. And there were a few corners that I might have cut. But if I were now to go over to my uh, overhead panel and turn on the APU, then once that's actually booted up, I'm going to be able to disconnect from my ground power, get pushback clearance, Turn on my engines and I'll be out of here. It's really as simple as that. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you follow this step by step, I can almost assure you that you'll be able to uh, take to the skies very shortly in this beautiful aircraft. If you did find this helpful, please share it with someone who you might think will find this beneficial as well. And give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos and I will see you very shortly. Cheers.